Kamen Rider Gotchard has given us our first ever female secondary rider. Historically, there have been other female riders. It's actually not too uncommon anymore. In fact, it's kind of an expectation now. I'd even argue that that's probably one of the main things that distinguishes the Reiwa era from other eras of the show. Female riders used to be a rarity and a little gimmicky, or if we had them, they would just outright not be classified as a rider. I genuinely would like you to sit here and tell me what it is that makes Rider Man a common rider and why those reasons don't fucking work for tackle. Sidebar, I'd love for Stronger to get an Amazons or Black Sun type show where they would do the same thing that they did for Shadow Moon and like retroactively make Tackle a common Rider. Us having a female secondary rider this year is, is huge. It's like if Sentai had a female sixth ranger. Historically, these characters were meant to be this big second marketing push for their respective series. They would headline a new wave of toys where they'd release a new driver or giant robot. And generally, they're just overall meant to reinvigorate interest into the show. They're big deals. Granted, back Back in the day, Kamen Rider used to have only like two to three heroes max. Now there's up to like 10 riders in every single season. So you might say that this isn't like as big of a deal as it could be, but I've said this in previous videos, Gotchard is like a little bit of a return to form. There's only been one rider so far this year, except for like Dread and whatever, you know what I mean. So this definitely feels like what would happen if like Meteor or Axel were like female riders back in the day. You could still argue that this is a bit of a half measure since her stuff is going to be sitting right next to Legend and and Valvrad stuff on the shelves, but you could definitely tell that Toei is testing the waters here. In fact, I'd even argue that they've been testing it since Valkyrie in Zero One. Really, like, kind of think about it. You can imagine them in the boardroom brainstorming for Zero One and saying something like, okay, what if we had a female rider in the main cast? And then for Saber, it's like, all right, what if we introduce the female rider midway through the series and had her headline her own wave of toys? Of course, we could pair her up with a man just to play it safe, and we could also make him her brother and... But then let's introduce her first, just so we can test the waters. And then we'll revise it, we're like, okay, what if we just introduced her straight up on our own? <coughs> <clears throat> like I said, they've been playing with this concept for like a while now, and I'm sure they've been looking at the numbers and toy sales and whatnot, and they're realizing like, maybe they can do this and it's not that big of a risk. I know they haven't fully taken the training wheels off of this concept, but it's really cool to see it go from like a, oh, hell no, to a, Oh, okay, maybe that maybe that could work. At the end of the day, this is a business decision for a long-running beloved television franchise that's trying to sell toys to kids. Looking at it from that perspective, I know what I would like, but I'm also not a Japanese 10-year-old. Nor do I have one in the trunk of my Nissan. I'm straight up not in the target demographic. And I don't know where the numbers are, but I do understand wanting to make the safest possible decision for your company. I do think if this does well, we'll get another female secondary rider, maybe without even having to have a valve rad as a backup. And I can even see this paving the way for like a female main rider, even if that means we have to do a season first where we have two main riders and you know, like one's a boy, one's a girl, and you know, they can assess accordingly and continue from there. I'd honestly love to see Sentai try having a female sixth soon. Even if that meant we had a soft launch it with like a Ryu Soul Green and Black situation where they're not immediately a part of the team and you know like they join slightly later maybe like episode five and then after that we could do like a sort of go on wings situation and then you know increasingly amp it up from there. Weirdly enough though I could honestly see Sentai doing a female red before we ever get a female sixth mainly because like you know you could make the rest of the team a bunch of males and then if you really wanted to play it safe they could like do a red sixth ranger that way if shit hit the fan like they could go retroactive with it it'd be a half measure and kind of lame but like i could see that being like the safest possible bet for them i imagine anyways you know we have to watch our debut episode you silly goose nah, academy I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sick of them pussyfooting them around with this concept. He's gonna join the, the squad. He's going like Kajiki will join the squad eventually. He's probably the most the well most well versed member of the squad with the like the journals and stuff like the the paranormal journals and shit. Like he he should be the squad leader. It's messed up. <laughs> they just blatantly broke the 180 rule. That was that was just a blatant break of the 180 rule. I don't mean I I don't like being all like film school nerdy, whatever. But they 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 blatantly just broke it, and I like it. It's throwing me off. It's like I'm watching an All Saints video. You know what I mean?
I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I don't like the new intro. I don't like the new intro. The, I, I, here's the thing. This is back when I really didn't care for Gotchard. I would always say that the worst Toku have the best intros. And I, I still kind of believe that to be the case. But like Gotchard has like, is like top three, top three rider intros. Easy. Like Gotchard intro one before this little new reinvention for the series, top three rider intros of all time. I loved it. I honestly, like, if I had to give it to you, I, I'd probably say Ghost has the best Rider intro of all time, then Saber, then Gotchard. Top, like, easy. Easy. I wouldn't even think twice about it. And then, like, O's, I think. Or, like, Gaim, Forze in there. That's probably, like, my top five. <laughs> like, I don't mind it. I don't dislike the new intro. It, it Like, honestly, it just sounds like verse two of the same song. Like, it sounds like we're listening to the second half of the intro. I, I, just, I just prefer the first one. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if that was bad or if it, I just wasn't expecting her to get tossed like that. I don't know if it was the thunk when she hit her head on the, the, the pipe. All I know is that was hilarious. Yo, this dog sounds like sounds like me when I'm up. Uh, when I'm hungry. Let's put it like that. Let's keep it PG. The little girl was like so much cooler when she wasn't taking orders from anyone. Like when she was like the boss dog, pun intended. Bruh of like the whole like when she was running the whole operation and she was like the one giving out commands and shit so intimidating she was so intimidating and like scary and it was great now i don't know like it's it's just like okay she's a she's a child we just have a child actor now i don't know man i feel like thematically they were doing some interesting things there with a the little kid now it's just like whatever all right you, you could have anyone doing this now it, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't stand out anymore i guess <laughs> I'm so old, I remember when that shit belonged to Genta. You kids know who that is? Hmm? Now I'm gatekeeping. Me and my coworkers, when someone brings donuts into the office, I've seen 30 year old white women trample over each other for a slice of cheesecake. I didn't edit that. That was just a terrible transition. I, I like Gotchard. All right. That was just, just, they, they are, I like, I get it. They broke the 180 rule to transition into the next scene. I get that. I get what they're going for. It's cute. I don't think it's cute enough though. All right. It's not, you're, you're doing things just to do things. You're not doing things to whatever. <laughs> Is Kamen Rider Gotchard advocating for kids to fucking think critically about the legal system? More like common liberal woke chart, am I right? <laughs> How hilarious would that have been if he just pulled it out loose from his backpack? He just has a hot dog sitting at the bottom of all of his papers. Just greasy, sloppy, covered in lint. Sounds like a good old fashioned ballpark Frank to me. Sign me up for two. I saw a dirty movie called that once. Why is she rising like that? Did she already transform? Can so can y'all explain this to me? Did she already transform before? Like, is this not her debut episode? What, like, what, am I missing something? Did she already, what did I not watch? Where am I, where did I go wrong? All right. I thought I was like on top of this and now this is like going to be lame. This is gonna like this is gonna be so outdated. This whole video is gonna be fucking scrapped now because of this shit. <laughs> Me when I wake up at 3 a.m. and I slept on my arm, so I have to drag it across the floor and try and like move it to get like blood circulating in again. <laughs> she don't even get her own driver. <sighs> That's how little they believe in this. That's a little fucked up. I didn't realize that that wasn't like its own thing. 
that's an attachment. That's the same thing as the igniter. Whew. Okay, wow, all right, damn. <laughs> Bro, like, did, did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? Is it is this like not relevant anymore? Can you guys tell me like where like what did I do? Like it was kind of funny a second ago. Where did I fuck up? I watched the the entire show. Like is like what do you mean just like before? What do you mean there was no before this? Dude, like you're making my job difficult, Toei. You realize that. Please still watch this video. Please. <laughs> I like the suit though. I like how it's still the blue and orange, but like kind of like a different take on the blue and orange from Gotchard. I like this ground fighting she's doing. It's reminding me a lot of like an MMA match. She's never gonna fight like this again, ever. But it, it's this is actually really cool. I've never seen like a Toku suit like get on the floor like that and like kind of like move around the monster like that. This is, it's 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 just a cool it's a cool take on how to do a fight, man. This is like this is like that first episode of Wizard where he did all the flips and sh and then never again. That's what's gonna happen here. But it's cool right now. I like it. Don't don't get it twisted. Oh, I'm just knowing it's an arrow here. Ooh. Oh, so other forms can be like fire too i do like how gotchard's been like playing with like the form changes a lot though like it's kind of like a, the way they incorporate it into the fight scenes like even like the cgi forms not like the big cgi like toy forms but like you know he turns into a gun or he turns into a bicycle type thing you know like he'll he'll turn into ant trooper and then he'll go into like he'll turn himself into like a like a bird and then he'll he'll turn change into something else and then he'll do another thing and then like it feels like it feels like I don't know what alchemy is. I'm gonna be so for real with you. I don't. I don't even know if this show knows what alchemy is, really. But I. I would assume if I were to ever be an alchemist, that's the type of shit he'd be doing. Uh, here's last week's video on Gotchard, or I guess it was two weeks now. And uh, here's Gotchard episode one, um, where I said that I didn't like the show, but now I actually really like it. Um, and now they rewritten everything, and now I feel weird. And now I'm confused as to what I even want in life anymore. We'll talk again later. <laughs>